Number eight, 25%. Number 10, 36%, <coughs> excuse me. Number 12, 72. Number 14 is 286. Number 16 is 30. Number 18 is 15. Number 20 is 20%. 20 Number 22 is 24%. Number 24 is Accessory Central because the sunglasses cost $16.80 at Accessory Central and $17.10 at Shades Inc. And 16 bloody blah is less than 17 bloody blah. Uh, number 26A is 40%. Number 26B is 53 18 year olds. And number 26C is 293 people. You find it? You check if you find it, you can check it off of this yeah, at some point. Online. That's also fine. Okay, any questions on those? I bet so. Oh, I deleted the wrong one. You said 24? All right. Number 24. Good job. So number 24 says Accessory Central is having a summer clearance on sunglasses. Maria wants to buy a pair of sunglasses that cost 48. Y'all good? You sure? Okay. Maria wants to buy a pair of sunglasses that cost $48. Uh, with 65% discount. The same pair of sunglasses cost $38 with a 55% discount at Shades Inc. Which store has the better price for the pair of sunglasses? So, what are we going to do? No, bad plan. We're 65 over 100, any of the above, yes. Times 48, that's true. Which gives you what? 16.8. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, it's 50. yeah, it will give you that. But that's... It gives you 31.2. It gives you 31.2. Now, that's how much we're taking off, right? That's not what you're going to pay. That's how much we're taking off. So what do we need to do with that number? Subtract. Yes. Subtract it from the original. That's right. So for this first one, we're going to do 48 minus 31.2, which is going to give us what number? 17.8 probably, right? Oh, yeah. 
So the first one, the American whatever it's called, $17.80. So what this pair of sunglasses costs, right? So then we need to do the same thing on this other one, right? So what are we going to do here? I don't know. I didn't actually. Yeah, it is. One of them, seventeen. Yes. So the other one. What are we going to do for the other one? Times the 38, right? Oh, Finding 38% of, or excuse me, 55% of 38. And we end up with what? Fifty-five over a hundred times thirty-eight, and we end up with seventeen point one. I don't think so. Try again. Twenty point nine. And then we're going to subtract that from thirty-eight. And there we end up with seventeen point one which tells us that the America's whatever it's called, Accessory Central, nothing to do with America, Accessory Central, Central is cheaper. Even though it starts out more expensive. Any questions on that problem or any other problems? Yes, sir. I have a question on 26C. Okay, 26C. Based on the results of the survey, predict about how many people out of 2,000 would contact an official. Uh, you can probably do it with a proportion, but I didn't do A or B, so I, I don't know yet. Do we need to look at A and B as well? Uh, no, Potentially. Potentially not. I don't know. I will guarantee you, you use information from either A or B or both to do C. I could be wrong, but that's almost always how those work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you get A and B right? I got A right, I got B wrong. Okay. Yeah, it's not very helpful. Sounds right to me. Where'd you get that the thousand some odd number? Which one? The that you said what did you say? You said something. What did you say? Okay, so 1,242. And you said, what was the top, what was the numerator? 182. Okay, now where did you get that number? Is it not on there? It is on there, but I want, but I, but that's, this is, this is, you're right. All of the things you're saying are right. So, and the, re, where, where did the, where did the 1,242 come from? That came from the first, yeah, total. Yeah, so it, it both tells you and you could also add up all those numbers and get the same thing, right? Tells you that at the top. And then we're trying to find out the number of whatevers and two, out of 2,000. And then we solve a proportion. What page is that? Uh, 352. Does that make sense, Noah? Yes. Good. All right, what other questions do we have on these problems, boys and girls? 14. You said 14? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Number 14 says, we want to find six. This is number 14 for those of you playing along at home. Now, uh, we want to find 65% of 440. Okay, so why should we do that? So 65 over 100 times 440 over 1. Is that what you said? That is completely correct. Now what? Punch in the calculator. You can. That's fine. Totally fine. Punch in the calculator, Garrett. Go, go, go. Go, go, Gadget. Go, go, Garrett Arms. <laughs> If you get 286, you're not dumb. You probably just accidentally punched something wrong. I bet. I thought there was something more complicated than that. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. Number 20. You were right, Garrett. Don't second guess yourself, man. Number 20 says 16 of the 80 dogs at a kennel are golden retrievers. What percent of the dogs at the kennel are golden retrievers? 16 of the 80 dogs are golden retrievers. We need to turn that into a percent. So what should we do? You did 16 times what? You divide. Because... As what we're doing here, remember that percent is a ratio, is a fraction, is a decimal. We're doing these, and we're trying to figure out how to write it. We're always doing the total on the bottom of a fraction and the part on top. So the total would be 80 dogs total, and 16 is the, the small part. You, yeah, yeah, if you want to do it the proportion with, that's totally fine. Absolutely. Uh, it ends up coming out to be 20%. 16 divided by 20, enter. But how do you know which one goes in front? The top one. Any other questions on this homework set, y'all? We can look at it real quick and see if we can find and see if we can discover your mistake. We we may not have to do it all. Let's see. Number ten. So it says, what percent of 145 is 52.2? So how are we going to set that up? Times 145 is 52.2. All correct so far. Now what? And then I did 1 times 145 times 1, and then 52.2 times 1 times 100. Oh, okay. I think, correct me if I'm wrong on what you just said, but I think what I understood you to say was... You cross multiplied like this. Yes, I did. And then you ended, when you did that, you ended up with 145 WP equals 5,220. Does that sound right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then what? 
Yeah. Oh, tired of things not working. I was in a good way and then my other pin broke. <clears throat> I don't know why this one's acting stupid, but you know, life is fun. 5,220 divided by 145 is what? 35.8621. Mm. The instructions don't say, actually. Uh, so we're going to round it to the nearest whole percent. So if we were to round to the nearest whole percent, that'd be 36. 36. So you did nothing wrong. You, you, you did literally nothing wrong. And, and I would have counted that because it doesn't even say where to round to. That's the answer. The answer in the textbook says 36%. But there's nothing wrong with what you wrote. Well, you probably heard 36 and didn't see 36 and didn't stop to think about that it was just rounding different. Probably. Probably. I could be wrong. Any other questions on this homework set? Um, we're going to look at lesson three, excuse me, 7.4. Um, we're not really going to do it, and we're not really going to do any homework on it, because uh, we're only going to, I'm going to teach you how to do one mental proportion, because it's vaguely valuable for real life. And that, not proportion, but percent. And that's how to find, that's how to mentally estimate 15%. Where would that be useful? Where might you have to pay 15, it'll think about 15% of something? A very specific store. <laughs> How about a restaurant? Where might you see 15% at a restaurant? In a tip. Because before they started <laughs> sticking 18% on there for some reason, 15% was the average tip. Tip. Okay. So, here you go. So if you, and this is, this is all mental math, so put your calculators down. And you're not going to be tested over this, and you're not going to whatever over this. We're going to take a half a second and call this lesson good and then move on to the next one. And the cool thing about the, the next lesson is because the way I taught it to you, it's the same thing as the lesson we just got through with. So it's just more practice of the same thing. Yay. This is technically sort of kind of something like 7.4, but we're not really doing 7.4. If you want to look at 7.4 and look at some of those things, it could be useful. Now, and I will specifically tell you that it might be useful, some of those numbers, if you happen to do woodworking at some point in your life but not because of the percents, but because of the decimals. Might be helpful, might be not. Who cares? You want to read it, go for it. But here you go. Finding 15% in your head. So if I go to a steakhouse and I order dinner and I end up getting a bill for nothing. Oh, it's actually writing. Get a bill for... $36.23. Here's how to estimate it. You ready? What is 10% of that? Don't punch it in your calculator. Use your head. You, you moved too much, but you're on the right track. $3.62, right? That would be for 100%. You, only, you move it however many zeros there are. So over 10%, yeah, yeah. All good, all good questions. So 10% of it is three bucks and 62 cents-ish. Now, it's fairly easy-ish to, in your head, find half of that. 
What's about half of $3.60? Uh, well, or, sorry, no, one, one, a dollar and so, ha so half of $3 is a dollar fifty, right? So a dollar Plus 30 cents, so about a buck 80, right? So then you add those together in your head. 360 plus a buck 80. And you end up with how much? Five dollars and forty ish cents. So you end up fifteen percent being about five dollars and forty cents ish. And then depending on how great your server was, you either round up a little bit or round down a little bit. Or you can do it really easy and go with twenty percent and just double that number. End up with six dollars you end up with seven dollars and twenty cents. There you go. There's lesson 7.4. Y'all enjoy that? Is that great? So great. So great. Of course, these days at most restaurants, they stick it on the bottom of the bill. Of course, they never put 15% in anymore. It's always 18, 20, 25%, 22%, whatever. You should... Here's, here's, here's my PSA of the day. Are you ready? Always, 100% always tip your servers, period. Always. Now, you ready? You can tip them less if they're crappy and more if they're good. I understand they have to tip out their bartenders and the whatever else. All the more reason to do better. Also, don't tip your waitress poorly or waiter poorly because your service was slow. It's not their fault. It's the kitchen's fault. Use your brains. I always do 15, 10, and 20. And I almost always round up regardless. If they, and I very rarely tip somebody 10%. It's if, if, if it was really, really terrible for some reason, 10% tip. 15 is my average because I don't know why, where it started to become the other. Because of inflation. Well, also the food prices went up. So it already went up. You're confused. That's my soapbox feelings. Lesson 7.5. I've always said, though, that if I was going to try to actually make a lot of money working like a normal-ish job, I would, I would go wait tables because I would make lots of money because I would be a great server. It's, it's actually, I mean, not to belittle, it can be a very hard job, don't misunderstand me, but to be a good server that makes good tips, you can follow a handful of rules and make that happen. Part of it's where you work, too, just say it. I mean, you work at a, if you work at, Applebee's, you're not going to get tipped as much as if you work at Longhorn Steakhouse. Yeah. That's true. That can be beneficial or not beneficial. Yes. I do not tip at Starbucks. You want to know why? Well, that's generally speaking. No, also because they don't make waitress feeds. They, they paid minimum wage plus. The reason why you tip is because they make three something an hour. So. Uh -huh. You know what else I don't tip? Most of the time, every once in a while, I will like feel led to tip there, and I do. I've even tipped a large sum there before, but uh, well, large for me, which is <laughs> that's still not saying a ton, I guess. But but I don't tip at Sonic either. Well, I don't really understand why people tip at like drive-throughs and stuff. Like that. You give me like five seconds of your time, and I'm expected to pay you. But at Dutch Bros, how my day was. At Dutch Bros, yes, they actually exactly. talk to me. But still, it's like they and they're like, I'm, I'm, okay. I used to really hate tipping at 
furs, but I did because I know they're paid waitress and waiter fees instead of paying. The, but that's like, okay, you maybe sort of filled my water sometime, maybe. I went and got all my food. I did all this work. Why am I tipping? But I did because they're because that's how they're paid. So you know, I'm not gonna be a jerk, but still. Furs was great, but I can understand people not liking it. You know, it's cafeteria food. Yeah, that's what it tastes like to me. It shut down. Yeah, they have all closed. <laughs> you know what else is on its way out is Golden Corral. I'll guarantee you it's not going to last much longer. I know. My dad always wanted to go eat at Furs or Golden Corral, and both of them are like, I'll just eat something at home. We're going to do all of these because, this is, because again, the way I taught it is, is this lesson is basically identical to Lesson 7.3. So we're going to do all of these as GPs, by the way. So there it is. Find. We will definitely have homework. 62%. Of 75. And just think, after this, we only have two more lessons, and then we have a review, and then we have a test. <gasps> Yay. Okay, ready to go. What? Okay, goodbye. Good luck. Hope it all works out for you. There's where we should have ended up. I just got the answer. Good job. Why would we move the decimal over two times? Oh, because the decimal. I love it when a plan comes together. It's okay. It's okay. 287. is what percent of 410? Ready, go. There's where we should have ended up. How we doing? Pretty good? Yeah, good. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. That is, that's that's good. Good. I know. What? Good. Good. Number three. Thirty-three is... 55% of what number? Ready, go. There you go. You're good. Number four. Scott wants to buy. A digital video recorder. I'm not wasting my time, I'm wasting yours. <laughs> Wait, no, you're actually just letting class time go by. True facts. That costs. That's only sort of true, actually. $250. If a 6% sales tax is 
is added. What is the total cost? This particular problem is particularly useful. Anybody know what the sales tax in Texas is? So that you could actually do this when you're, what? Eight and a quarter, or eight and a half. I don't remember, eight and a quarter, eight and a half. No, I remember stats and it was you eight and I was like, huh? Mm -hmm. So if you're at the store and you want to know if you actually have enough dollars in your pocket to pay for something, you can add the tax. I just asked my sister. I just asked my sister. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are we going to do to solve this guy? A over 250. What? A over 250? I'm going to follow along with what you're saying, but I'm not sure I, I agree with this plan. But that's okay. I'm going, to, I'm going to write down what you're saying. We'll see what happens. A over 250. I have never once told you how to solve it this way, so I'm not going to do it this way because it's going to confuse people. Okay. Even if it might possibly work. It's worth it if I'm not sure. That's fine. It's actually, it's actually uh, that method is actually the way they teach you in lesson three. But it's not really the algebra way to solve it. It's more like the middle school way to solve it. So if we're going to do it the way I've been showing you, what are we going to do? What are we going to do with the six? We know it's going to be six over 100. Over 100. Thank you. It does, you can't quite directly because they kind of split the information up. So, but we do, when you're finding, and this is useful, um, and that's uh, the, the, two, the two things together are useful ideas. When you're finding a percent, you're always finding a percent of something. And so you're always going to be multiplying that percent times something. It's always going to be of the total or whatever, right? So what are we finding 6% of in this problem? 250. That's true. 6% of 250 is going to equal the tax, right? So 6 times 250 divided by 100 gives us what number? 6 over 100 It might be what I said. It's what I meant, but... <laughs> Somebody else agree? Yeah. Okay. So the tax is $15. Now, is that the total cost? No. No. So what do we got to do to find the total cost? Yeah. So plus 250 would be $265. Is his total amount. That's 15, probably. How are we doing? Any questions on that question? I like the first way better. You like what first way better? You haven't been doing it that way this whole time, and you've been doing fine, so stop that nonsense. True facts. Because every time you've been doing these problems the way I showed you, you've been doing them the way I showed you. You said you did. True facts. Say, say what? Is this what it's saying here? The way he showed you works. Yeah, it works. I just like the other way. I think you read in my brain. I am telling you that you've been doing it the way I told you the whole time. True facts. Yes. So stop it. <laughs> yeah.
You're gonna, what I'm telling you is you're going to confuse yourself. Just keep doing it the way that you've been doing it. Don't do it whatever Noah's telling you. Do it the way you've been doing it. Because you're going to confuse yourself if you switch in the middle. Fruit tracts. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Anyways, OMG. Pages. Three hundred and sixty four through three hundred and sixty five numbers ten through twenty eight evens. You have about fifteen minutes to work on it. I very strongly recommend starting now and asking questions when you have them.